just it's good to just have that one singular pursuit in terms of like what you're trying to do like that can occupy your mind because then i found maybe it's just me but i found whenever i'm like bothered or whenever i'm like aiming for a goal whether it's like trying to run a 5k under 25 minutes or i'm trying to you know lose a bunch of weight it always kind of does away with all the other nonsense talk in my head but other things going on in culture don't really seem to bother you as much because you have so much things going on in your own life if that makes sense does that make sense to you um i think that's generally the thing whenever you see somebody complaining a lot online or talking a lot about what other people are doing and not doing um usually in my experience it's definitely a sign that that person isn't fulfilled in their own life and doesn't really have anything going on which is fine in it because i don't think i don't think that's that should be a good enough that, that that shouldn't be something to look down upon people with you know what i mean like i always say like on this podcast that like, it's really difficult to find like hobbies when you're an adult so if one of your hobbies is like minding other people's business then fair play to you in it um what you call it you know enjoy yourself do what you want but I think sometimes when it can get a little, gets a little bit, you know, a little bit OTT when they keep rabbing on and on and on and on and on. And I find especially some of the <clears throat> more cuckoo Hollywood types who I'm going to mention a couple later on. Um, a lot of those people, especially when it comes to women, they could probably be best served if they've concentrated or focused their time on improving every aspect of their actual life, whether it was relationships, health, fitness, um, you know, personal style, musical taste, film taste, whatever it may be, right? All those things could be, would could be, um, those were far, those, those could be a far better avenues to pursue than actually bothering yourself with what the Kardashians are getting upset with or whatever is going on now. Because now, the moment, what's the story now? I read something about people are getting upset because Kendall Jenner's new tequila brand, she made an advert where people are saying she's culturally appropriate because she dressed up like Pocahontas or something. I don't know. Like, who, who gives a fuck, right? It really shouldn't bother you, right? These th This family have basically told us what they're about, you know, from their inception. Why should it be a surprise that they're going to try and, you know, um, appropriate a culture that they have no relation to in order to kind of further their ability to make more money and under the premise of like, oh, I love this thing. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. And again, if it does bother you that much, go support a local tequila brand then that's actually about this life, that's actually from Mexico, that's, you know, you know, um, in the midst of, uh, that's kind of situated in the midst of some sort of gangland warfare or something. Go and support them if your time is, you know, if you're that bothered as opposed to just worrying about what Kendall and Jenna is doing. That's, that, that's why sometimes I can be a little bit more, distant with the topics i talk about and sort of speak about them from an outside perspective i don't really take any credit for that some people leave me comments saying oh my god it's so good that you you know you're so rational about these things but it's like mm, i don't think i'm that rational i just think because i have so much stuff going on outside of all the stuff i talk about it just i can just watch it as just entertainment it's just like pure entertainment oh my god that's crazy that this is happening and i can notice little trends because i'm just away from it i'm not really i'm not like um what do you call it? I'm not in it and I'm not obsessed with it in that way. It's just, I don't know. Sometimes that's why sometimes I have a little bit of sympathy with people that are obsessed with politics. I couldn't imagine. Like sports is already enough for me, right? Being into sports and knowing how powerless you are as a fan, especially a fan of Man United and what the Gladys are doing with my club, it kind of really, you know, humbles you a little bit in terms of knowing where your place is. So I'm kind of a bit like, you know what? I can rant and rave about how the Glazers are ruining United, but really, no matter how many scarves I wear, no matter how many hashtags I use online, they're going to decide to leave the club when they decide to leave the club. We're not going to do any, we're not going to force them out any sooner than they want to actually leave. So it kind of allows you to be a little bit like, you know what? The world is as it is. I'm just going to try my best to enjoy the time I have available. Whereas the people in politics have this weird, I guess people that are into politics, it seems like they have this weird idea that somehow they are literally going to change things especially on a global or on a national scale maybe local politics for sure you could definitely impact change i have a couple of friends of mine who are you know um what you call it uh members of the green party and stuff are doing some really great stuff in the community i have some friends of mine that are doing some great stuff in terms of anti-knife crime in the community some really core cool initiatives but in terms of overall changing you know public consciousness through politics like you're better off creating a great product and then using that product and that notoriety and that platform to then spread your message as opposed to getting into politics. Why do you think all these people like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos and stuff can't stop shutting up about global issues? Well, not Jeff Bezos, maybe more so Elon Musk. Why don't you think he can't stop, you know, he can't help himself getting in front of a camera? Because that's basically the best option or the best route to actually impact change and to actually affect people and to actually influence people and change their minds. Creating a product that people will actually enjoy and love and then using that as 
as an opportunity to basically Trojan horse your way into a conversation. That's honestly the best way to do it. But anyway, what do I know? What the hell do I know? 